Accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. I'm proud to have delivered on 100% of my promises, and I will not stop now. It's clear to me that a majority of Republican primary voters want to give Donald Trump another chance. They watch his presidency get stymied by relentless resistance, and they see Democrats using lawfare this day to attack him. Well, I've had disagreements with Donald Trump, such as on the coronavirus pandemic and his elevation of Anthony Fauci. Trump is superior to the current incumbent, Joe Biden. That is clear. I signed a pledge to support the Republican nominee, and I will honor that pledge. This was the statement of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis on Sunday, January 21st, ahead of the New Hampshire Republican primary. He stressed that he can't ask his supporters to volunteer their time and donate their resources without a clear path to victory. This as DeSantis finished second place in the Iowa caucuses, with former President Donald Trump garnering 51% of the votes, a landslide victory in the first contest held in the Hawkeye State. DeSantis with 21.2%, Nikki Haley with 19.1%, Vivek Ramaswamy with 7.7%, and the rest scoring less than 1%. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts, the Florida governor added, quoting Winston Churchill. His withdrawal from the White House bid leaves former South Carolina governor and former UN ambassador Nikki Haley as the lone alternative to Donald Trump in the race, with the competition's current situation dubbed a two-person race. Haley and Trump will face each other in the primary election on Tuesday, January 23rd, while the general election is scheduled in November later this year. In his five-minute video message, DeSantis took a swipe of the Democrats before thanking his supporters. The D.C. elites who facilitated this mess do not care about you, and they do not work for you. They work for themselves. They seek to accumulate power at your expense to pursue an agenda that is harmful to the American people. Citizens do not serve politicians. It is the duty of politicians to serve you. Talk is cheap. Actions speak louder than words. Reversing the decline of this nation requires leadership that delivers big results for the people we are elected to serve. I thank all of our passionate supporters who have stood by us through it all. That we had people volunteer to come to Iowa in the middle of a blizzard to knock on doors and make phone calls touched us dearly. Meanwhile, despite disagreements in the past, front-runner Donald Trump thanked the Florida governor for endorsing him. Before we begin, I'd like to take time to congratulate Ron DeSantis and of course, a really terrific person who had gotten to know his wife, Casey, for having run a great campaign for president. He did. He ran a, a really good campaign, I will tell you. It's not easy. They think it's easy doing this stuff, right? It's not easy. But as you know, he left the campaign trail today at 3 p.m. And in so doing, he was very gracious and he endorsed me. So I appreciate it. I appreciate that, and I also look forward to working with Ron and everybody else to defeat crooked Joe Biden. We will have to get him out. We have to get him out. He's put our country at great peril, at great peril. So I just want to thank Ron and uh, congratulate him on doing a very good job. It's a tough situation. It's a tough thing to do. Reporting, this has been Sarah Santos, SMNI News.